didn't see there scared the shit out of me. Uh, welcome to my Air France A380 business class review. So um, today I'm on my way to the Paris Charleville Airport and I am flying on Air France business class on the A380 from Paris to Los Angeles for a long 11 and a half hour haul. But it should actually be pretty, uh, blah, blah, should actually be a fairly pleasant experience because I recently what? became an Air France Platinum member and uh, those sweet sons of bitches upgraded me to business class. So, um, so it should actually be a pretty nice flight. So um, I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and uh, let's see what happens. Security might be a little crazy at the airport because that uh, Egypt Air, God rest those people's souls, uh, that flight was just lost a couple days ago. Um, the flight that was flying from Chi uh, sorry, Paris, the same airport I'm leaving from, to Egypt, so I know security's gonna be crazy, so I'm leaving quite a bit ahead of time, but luckily I've got sky priority, so uh, I think I get to go in a faster security screening line. But we shall see. Fingers crossed. Lucky for me, I'm a dual citizen of the United States and France, so it's easy and easy out when it comes to the EU and the US, baby. Aéroport de Paris. Well, already off to a great start. They have a dedicated sky priority. Uh, what is this guy priority? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Entrance for uh, people with sky priority on the team, which is me. Thank you, Air France. All right, here we are in the terminal. Let's pray to God the security line isn't a shit show, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, oh, sweet, there's a separate. Uh, look at this. Separate security line for uh, business class and sky priority. So uh, thank you, God. Yes, it's on time. Well, thank the Lord. That crazy security line back there, and I got to jump this little short one. God bless that sky priority. Just got through uh, passport control. Thought I was going to get in a little trouble. They. Uh, I used my French passport to get in so I could jump the, uh, the international passport line because if you use an EU passport to come in, it's way faster, but then I was using my American passport to, uh, to leave and they're like, there's no stamps here, what the fuck? And then I had to explain to them that I'm a dual citizen and uh, I always try to skip to the fastest passport line. Uh, now I gotta take a train from uh, the main terminal to uh, like one of the exterior parts of the terminal because the A380 is too big of a bird to fit in the main terminal here. So I gotta wait for this train. Let's see, hopefully it'll come soon. Maybe I'll have time to hit the Air France Lounge. Give a glass to Champagne. <laughs> So uh, I made it through the security screening all right. I remembered to take out my laptop and my uh, animation tablet. But of course my bag is uh, gonna get security screened because I totally forgot I have my microphone in there and I'm sure that thing looks shady as fuck. Uh, anyways, hopefully they'll uh, get my bag checked and I can explain it to them quickly so uh, I have enough time to hit that advanced uh, business class lounge, get some free food and drink for the flight. Well, it took a little while for them to go through all my stuff, but you know what? Makes me feel a lot better knowing that they are thorough because I'm sure everything in my bag looks shady as fuck on an x-ray, so. Uh, yeah, really stoked when they, uh, to know that they're so, uh, so thorough. All right, I'm checking. My flight is on time and it boards in like an hour, so time to go hit that lounge. Well, 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 look what I found. That, my framing sucks. Air France Lounge. So, oh, automatic doors. Jesus Christ, they almost took me out. <laughs> they open outwards. All right, let's see here. 
Do I dare ask if I could get him? Is there any place available in first class? Well, let's see. I'm gonna check in here, but look at this place. Nice little check-in counter and everything. Oh, wow, look at this. They have like a little spa area, restaurant, workspace. Ooh. Yeah. Just give them so much sure showers and punch. Is douche. <laughs> I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go grab me some breakfast. Right, this cute little buffet area here. Got some alcoholic beverages, which I definitely should not be touching this early in the morning. But I think I'm gonna grab myself some crepes and uh, maybe some, uh, ooh, maybe like an omelet. Oh lordy, breakfast of champions. Got a cappuccino, orange juice. Croissant, omelet, some sausage, and uh, what else in here? Oh, a little crepe too. Some uh, abricot marmalade from Avignon. So I'm about to feast like a beast and then head to the gate and board the flight. <laughs> Really made it to the gate on time, but thank goodness we got the business class uh, separate boarding here. And uh, we'll get on the plane, kick back, relax, and uh, get some work done. And uh, anyways, so uh, let's get on this plane. Bonjour. Merci. Bon voyage. So friendly. Uh, I want to see the plane. It's such a big bird. It's like the Titanic of the sky. Actually, I should not call it that. I should call it like the Queen Mary or something. That's like that old to use that type of reference. All right, here we go. Damn, this plane fits like 800 people though. Jesus. That big old fat airplane out there. Double decker. Okay, let's see here. La première, not quite that classy. Economy. Ah, business class, there we go. Wait, business, yeah, that's me. They have like three different entrances on this plane because uh, some people gotta go to the second floor like yours truly. And uh, make sure you're on the right one. All right, almost on the plane here. I think I'm 60E, so it should be pretty simple. Get my boarding pass going. Bonjour. Ça va très bien, et vous? Ça va, merci. Alors, vous êtes 60 E. Merci beaucoup. Bonjour. Okay, 60E. Let's see here. 60. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is my little seat here. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, this is so chill. Love this. So kind of the uh, gentle flight attendant over there uh, took my jacket, so now I can relax. Uh, I got the nice duvet cover here. Um, I cannot wait to uh, put my seat down and uh, turn this bad boy into a bed and relax. And actually, look at this. There's a staircase down there and everything. She's really, really cool. I got a nice little pair of slippers here. Hooked me up this comfy pillow. Ooh, Air France duvet cover. Classy. Okay, guys, I gotta say first impression. Air France business class is freaking epic. No offense out Italia, but you guys ain't got nothing on this. So I'm just uh, hanging out, walking around this nice little lounge area here. Apparently there's two bars up here. I'm just gonna hang out here, do some stretches. I'm already in my, uh, what is it, complimentary. Air France uh, slippers. Tempted to walk down these stairs, but I'm pretty sure that's first class. So, a lot down there. Well, what's going on down there? Got some sweet yellow jackets. The bathroom's nice up here. Uh, got some uh, nice little uh, toiletry stuff, some facial wiping pads, even though I'm not that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, spacious. Nice. They just came by with this sweet little goodie bag. Let's see what's inside. Let's see. Got, uh, lip balm. 
earplugs, toothbrush, toothpaste, a little eye patch there. Sure is sweet. All right, guys, this is so cool. I couldn't figure out how the TV works, and then you just press a button and it lifts up. Check this out. Super nice cabin crew just came by and hooked me up a mixed fruit juice. Mixed fruit Nice, they just came by and uh, brought by some uh, newspapers. They have a ton to choose from. The International New York Times. It's hard to find that one in the US. Only the regular New York Times. The International one's way better. Nothing like a nice, hot, refreshing face towel as I'm reading my newspaper. <laughs> This plane has a plug-in for my computer so I can use it for a flight. Just got the menu for the food on board. So good. So incredibly nice on this flight. The stewardess just came by and just double check everything is good and that um, I'm satisfied with everything. And uh, they're constantly coming by, making sure that we're satisfied with drinks and whatnot. And uh, the movie selection is epic. I was on an Air France flight recently. They've already updated it, and I can't decide whether to watch Deadpool, which I've already seen, but it's a fucking kick-ass movie. Or if I should watch uh, The Departed or The Good Dinosaur, which I have not seen, so I don't know. And I'm also going to get some work done simultaneously on the old laptop here. Work on uh, Captain America Civil War the Musical. We just got served the first course. It looks delicious. A nice salad, some foie gras, and I um, don't know what that is, but uh, looks good. I feel very spoiled right now watching Deadpool. Well, I just got the main course. Got some veal, some fine cheeses. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Now to top off an already incredible meal, got a nice little cup of joe, a little triage of desserts. And then I'm gonna turn this thing into a bed and pass out. Gotta love this. What was once a normal seat is now a full blown bed. Pass that time. I just woke up from a 
been very relaxing to sleep in. I have a little self-serve bar here. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself a nice little orange juice. I don't really drink, but if I did, definitely be taking some of this because this is 2008 vintage champagne, but that's good stuff. Definitely don't skip out the uh, fine house things in that. I thought the flight was almost over and we're pretty much done, but just when I thought it couldn't get any better, they show up with these beautiful pasta, some nice shrimp, and some nice pineapple to compliment it. My goodness, I am a spoiled little bitch. Turn it off, God. You have to stop me. Stop me whenever you want. Okay. You need to choose it. Should take the car. Show, show the car. Not to me. Put it back. Put it like this. A mix. It should be on top. Check it. Is it, is it your car? No. Check on my pocket. What is it? To best passenger. Look at you. <laughs> Is it your car? What? <laughs> it's, it's not over yet, but that's your car. So, so we're gonna try it again. I put it on top. I put it on top, but stop me. Okay. So it's there. Huh? You choose it, right? Like this. I check. Up. It's coming back up here. What? <laughs> but insane. If it was all art, four of us would be easy, but it's not. Yeah. So one more time. <laughs> you stop me again. Stop. Okay. I just want to make sure it's still there. Okay. <laughs> okay. And now you're gonna stop me. Okay. To find the card. Okay. Okay. Because it's, it's your turn. All right. Uh, stop. Okay. So it should be here, right? Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, the show is over. <laughs> Alright, I was already gonna say that this is the officially the best cabin crew ever, but now we just had the ultimate magic show. So this guy right here, Thank you. you better pray that you have him on your Air France flight because he is the freaking man. Well, here we are, the 11 hour trip is over, and for the first time in my life, I'm actually sad that the flight's over. I really enjoyed this. Most epic flight ever, so uh, now I gotta go through security and then go straight to Maker Studios for a meeting, but uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Oh, I guess I should probably give this flight a rating. Uh, if I had to, I'd probably say like a 9.5 out of 10. Um, the only reason I would even dock any points is uh, just the fact that the bed didn't, I'd probably a quarter of a point off that the bed doesn't completely recline, it was like a, you know, uh, you know, 90% recl reclination, and the other is that the uh, the TV wasn't HD. But other than that, damn perfect, um, damn near perfect. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to do subscribe to both my channels, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I will see you next time.